So we are ready to jump to the second exercise, which is pretty simple, having done the first one. Basically, we have to do the same thing, just printing the, the alphabet, but in reverse. As usual, we can use only the write function. So let's jump into it. I won't spend a lot of time into this exercise because it is specular to the other one. I will just show you the algorithm very fast. I include my Unix standard file so I can use the write function. Then I declare my print reverse alphabet function. I select two bytes in memory with this short and I call these two bytes C. If you don't understand why I use the short, that's a reasonable question. I just decided to use the short to show you that it doesn't really matter which data type you use as long as it is of family integers. Just check my previous video on uh, print alphabet and you will understand. Then I set the state of this memory bytes into 122. Why? Well, very simply because my last character is number 122. So I start from the bottom. Then it becomes a loop, which is while. So as long as a condition is not met, this condition holds as long as C is major of 96. So as long as this condition is true, what do I do? I just flash into the standard output my character. Watch my video on write if you don't know what this function does. And then I just decrease the value of my character. So my character now is y. Is the number or the character 121 major than 96? Yes, of course it is. And the loop goes on and on until c is equal to 97. 97 is the lowercase a. So it is the first character. I write my 97, so my lowercase a, and then I decrement my character, which now is 96. 96 is major than 96? No. So the condition doesn't hold truth anymore. Boom, my cycle ends and the function itself ends. So I have my reverse alphabet in the standard output. And yeah, that's basically it for these two initial exercises, which are kind of simple, right? Thank you for watching.